Welcome to the Windows Club. If you encounter the kernel data in page error indicating towards the file msis.sys which is a system file in Windows 10 then either read through this article on the Windows Club or simply watch this video I'll guide you through the solutions. First of all this error is a blue screen of death error so it would look something like this. If you encounter it, restart your computer, you would be able to do that and then run the Windows Memory Diagnostic tool. For this, press the Windows key and the R button together, open the run window, type the command MDSCHED and hit enter. This will invoke the Windows Memory Diagnostic tool and you can click on this option here restart now and check for problems the second solution would be to search for hard drive corruption using the check this scan so copy this command line which is mentioned in this article then search for command prompt in the windows search bar select run as administrator to open the elevated command prompt window paste the command here and hit enter this will invoke the check this scan on your computer the third solution would be to install the latest versions of all the drivers. As easy as it sounds, if you try doing it through the device manager, you would have to update each driver individually. So search for the Intel driver and support assistant utility on Bing or Google and then come to this page, click on download, download this file and run it. Lastly, if these do not work, there might be a possibility that a third party software might be causing this blue screen error. So press the Windows key and the R button to open the run window once again. Type the command msconfig and hit enter to open the system configuration window. Go to the services tab. Check the box associated with hide all Microsoft services. If any other service is checked, click on disable all. Select apply and then click on OK. Click on restart to reboot the computer in clean boot state in which no third party software would be open even in the background as soon as you start the computer. This will help you isolate the issue in discussion. Isn't this easy and interesting? If you have any doubts, please go to the original article on the Windows Club. Scroll down to the comment section and write your query. We will surely answer to it. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.